Hi, this is a video um, just kind of going over the wrap up that we did in class um, about the nuclear decay. Um, so I would probably put like if you're going to take notes, I would put this table into your notes. Um, and then let's just talk about each one. So alpha decay. Um, alpha decay is when you're going to get this particle, which is like a helium atom. It just doesn't have the electrons. Um, and sometimes we use the Greek letter alpha, and sometimes we use the alpha with the numbers on the side. So when an alpha decay occurs, you're going to have that parent isotope, and then part of the nucleus, this alpha particle, comes out, and then that results in a daughter isotope that is going to have a mass number less um, with less than four than what it started with and the atomic number is less than two of what it started with. So really the mass number is going down by four, atomic number goes down by two. Um, and then beta is, um, it's like an electron and we're not really going to get into the difference, we'll just kind of treat it like an electron. You can sometimes use the Greek letter beta sometimes the beta with the sign, you know, the numbers on the side. So the number um, here, it's not really the atomic number, is atomic number can't be negative one, but it does help us to balance the nuclear equation. So if I do this example with you, and I get that beta particle, um, what's happening then is um, a neutron is changing into a proton, so my atomic number is going to go up by one. My mass number is going to stay the same. And then I get this new daughter element or isotope. Uh, positron emission is the opposite of beta. So now you're going to have a proton turning into a neutron. So mass number will stay the same. Atomic number will decrease by one. So example. I'm going to get that. Oh, by the way, the positron is written just like an electron or a beta, but with a positive on the bottom because it is a positively charged particle. So um, your daughter element is going to have same mass number and atomic number is going to go down by one, which gives us a new element. And that is a seven, by the way. All right. Electron capture is different than all the previous um, because you're going to have the electron is going to actually be on the left side of the yield arrow. Everything else, you started with a parent isotope and then it right away changed. So you saw that yield sign right away. So um, tungsten, I got to find it, has an atomic number of 74. It will literally capture one of its electrons um, that's in the inner orbitals into the nucleus. And when that happens, you're still gonna you're gonna get the same effect as positron, a proton turning into a neutron. So atomic number goes down by one, mass number stays the same, and you get a new daughter. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about um, gamma. And let me show you. So gamma um, emission is part of the electromagnetic um, spectrum. It's over here. These are waves that travel at the speed of light. So gamma is really a wave of energy, but it is also a particle. The particle of gamma, um, we represent with the gamma, um, the Greek letter. And then I like to put the zero, zero, because it has zero charge, zero mass. Um, depending on the font, sometimes you'll see a gamma particle kind of looks like this. It doesn't really show you that loop. It looks more like a Y. But anyways, um, gamma uh, emission typically happens like here's the gamma emission alongside or just instantly after um, a beta, which this is a beta decay or an alpha decay. So they're easy to do because it doesn't really affect mass numbers or so if you go back up to that chart um, and we add, you know, gamma here, 
you're going to have no change in atomic number or mass number. That's all I have. Hope that helped.